3D printing stuff for beer. I got this big box in the mail. It's a 3D printer. So let's unbox it, put it together and see what we can do. Let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and homebrewing. I already opened it and unboxed it because unboxing videos sucks. And I assembled it, but I did do a little time lapse video for you. <laughs> There was the time lapse. You can see the printer behind me. You will find the printer and other parts on my Amazon storefront. I will link to that down below so you can go and check it out if you want to. But the printer is a Creality Ender 3 version 2. A little bit pimped up with some extra accessories. Some are for looks and some are for function. Don't forget to hit the like button to save a unicorn and it will also give you great karma for the rest of the year. Nice, but for some reason, many of you guys don't even care about the unicorn. What is 3D printing? 3D printing is printing layer by layer of plastic on top of itself. So we are building from the bottom up. Basically two steps in 3D printing. First off, you need a model. All of the things I printed here, I will try to link down below so you can print it yourself and go check it out if you want to. You can always also like mod stuff. But I have printed out some stuff already, which I'm going to show you. The early learning curve, and it's, of course, it's always with a new thing, and I still have a lot to learn. But I have printed out some awesome things, and in the next part of this series, I'm going to print out some stuff for my Cornelius cake. So I'm stoked about that. So far, I have printed some tap handles, which is kind of obvious. We will talk about what we can do and what we not can do also when 3D printing for home brewing or beer. I've printed this beer mug which came out freaking awesome this is the, the first time i dared to print something really big you can fit a 500 milliliter can in here so you can drink straight out the can i'm guessing also could you be used as a dice mug or, or something for you kids what are you kids playing are you still on onions and dragons no i don't think so warhammer let me know comment down below printed some more tap handles you have this stout handle and of course a nerdy lightsaber handle all of these things i have downloaded and there's a lot of stuff to download a lot of models to download so you don't need to be an artist really to start printing stuff and you can of course print stuff that aren't for beer as well like this little flower pot so cute I have two small ones here, don't know if you can pick those up. I printed this mask, just, just for fun, just to learn. Some other beer stuff I printed. I printed a small little dip tray, nice. It is small, I know, but if we move the Panasonic, we can use it, I'm guessing, underneath the eye tap there. Nice. I printed this wall-mounted bottle opener. Just need to stick a little coin here. If I can find one in the right size and we can put it somewhere on the wall. This little beer cap or for soda, it will of course not hold carbonation, but it will keep bugs and stuff out in the summer. If you're giving away a bottle, hanging some sort of this on the neck makes it for a good present. Another present idea is this little contraption, which is a lock. So if you're giving away a special kind of beer, you put that on and this is kind of cool because this is printed in one piece put that on there put a little lock on there for your special reserve beer nice what can we what can't we do with 3d printing for beer maybe we shouldn't print stuff that are touching the beer and it's not that this material of course there's a lot of different materials you can print in this is a material called PLA it's not that it's toxic but you have nicks and crannies here so this would basically be like having a wooden mug and you wouldn't be scared of drinking out of that but maybe you wouldn't be using it for for brewing i don't know really i haven't tried it out but we could try it. I, don't, I don't think this material would work in the dishwasher or sanitizing temperature to be fair but there are a lot of different materials you can print in we can still do accessories that 
or in touching the beer and we can do prototyping to try stuff out so there's still a lot of nerdy stuff we can go down this rabbit hole do you own a 3d printer have you printed any beer related stuff do you have any ideas what we should print for me also now i have been learning how to print i need to start to learn how to make my own 3d models so i can make my own stuff and speaking of accessories i already have some plans for printing out some Cornelius keg in an upcoming episode in the 3d printing series hopefully when you see this video this video is already out if it's not why don't you check out this video or try to hit any of these two buttons here nice okay that's it for today see you in the next one Locked arms out.